Our friend Cyberlab has released some new presets with his Cyberlab Megatron Death to Pixels Shader Preset Pack. And I must admit, this is got to be one of the most realistic looking CRT shader presets I've ever seen. Now, I'm going to tell you this up front. To make the most effective use of these shader presets, you need to have a TV or monitor that supports HDR. That's high dynamic range. If your TV or monitor does not support high dynamic range, then this preset pack is not going to look good. But if you do have access to an HDR display, then let's get on with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that HDR is enabled on your screen. And we also want to make sure that your screen is correctly calibrated for HDR. So if you're using Windows, right click on your desktop, go to display settings, and then select the screen that supports HDR, and then scroll down and where it says use HDR, make sure this is switched on. And then once you've switched that on, the next thing you want to do is go to the calibration tool. And you can do that by going to the start menu and then in the search bar type in store and then go to the Microsoft Store. And then here go to the search bar again and type in HDR. And then this is the tool you want to download. Windows HDR calibration. And then once you've installed it, you need to open it. So at the moment I've got HDR switched off because when I try to do a screen record with HDR on, it doesn't come out properly. So that's why this notice is showing here. But on your screen, you need to make sure that HDR is switched on. And then all you need to do is go to get started. And then all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions. And this will involve adjusting the darkness values the brightness values and the color saturation values. It's not difficult at all. And then at the end, you'll be prompted to save the profile that's been created. Once you've completed that, we need to go to Cyberlab's homepage to download the latest Cybertron presets that he's created. So I've linked to Cyberlab's homepage in the description below. And then once you're there, scroll down until you get to this section here where it says Cyberlab Megatron Death to Pixels Shader Preset Pack. And then you'll see a download link right here. So let's open this in a new tab and then go to the new tab and this will appear and then click the giant green download button. And then once that's completed, close the tab. And there's one other very important thing we need to download. And that's this link down here where it says new CRT shader from guest. So let's open that in a new tab. And now we are on guests homepage and where it says newest version, open the link beneath it in a new tab. And again, let's click the giant green download button. And once both those are downloaded, we need to extract both zip files. So here are the two zip files. Let's quickly extract them. And now we can delete the zip files. And all we need to do is retain the two folders. Now let's leave these two here for a moment and let's open up RetroArch. And once you've opened RetroArch, there's just a couple of things we need to do. So firstly, go to settings, go to video, output and video driver. And here, select Vulkan. If you do happen to have any difficulties with Vulkan, I'll leave a link in the description below that could help you fix the issue. Alternatively, if your graphics card does not support Vulkan, I've been told that D3D12 and D3D11 also support HDR. But in this video, I'll be focusing on Vulkan simply because I don't have much experience with the other video drivers. So let's go back and back again. And now scroll down to HDR. Currently it's switched off, but what you need to do is switch it on. So in this video, I'm not going to turn that on because it will kind of screw up my screen capture. But what you need to do is turn that on. And then if you've done everything correctly, you'll notice that RetroArch should suddenly become a lot more bright and a lot more vibrant. If that doesn't happen, just close RetroArch, restart your machine, turn your machine back on, open RetroArch, try this process again, and it should work. Obviously assuming that your monitor or TV supports HDR. Anyway, once you've switched that on, let's go back and then go to online update. scroll all the way to the bottom and update slang shaders. We need to make sure we've got the latest version of 
all the relevant shaders we're going to be using. Excellent. Now that's done, shut down RetroArch. So on the left hand side I've got the two files we downloaded and on the right hand side we have my RetroArch folder. So firstly let's go to Cyberlabs folder, open up the RetroArch folder and what we need to do now is drag this shaders folder over into your RetroArch folder and we can just move here. And if you have a previous version of Cyberlabs presets it's probably going to ask you to replace them. And now let's go back to the folder with our two downloads. Now we can delete the Cyberlab folder and now we're left with the CRT guest folder. So if you open that you'll see a shaders folder and five shader presets. So in the RetroArch folder open up shaders, open up shader slang, open up CRT. Now what you want to do is drag and drop the guest files over to this side. And it should say something like this destination has 55 files with the same name, which sounds about right, and go to replace. That is the installation and configuration pretty much done. Now open up RetroArch. Once you have RetroArch open, open up a game of your choice. And once you've got a game loaded up, press F1, go down to shaders, load, and in the shaders folder you should see a whole host of Cyberlab Megatron 4K HDR shader presets. Now simply pick whichever one you feel suits the game you've got loaded. So right now I've got a Mega Drive game loaded so I'm going to choose Genesis Composite. And once that's loaded, let's go back to the game. So right now I'm capturing this on a non-HDR display. So currently my image looks really dim and dark and dull. But if you follow this process on a full HDR TV or monitor, this image will look incredibly bright. So what's very special about Cyberlab's work here is if you zoom really close into the image, you'll start to notice all the individual red, green and blue phosphors just like how you would on a real CRT TV. So these are some amazing people that made the software that allowed Cyberlab to produce this preset pack. So big shout out to Major Pain the Cactus, Guestar, Hylian, Dogway, GPDP1, and Azurfell. Apologies if I've mispronounced any of those. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these shader presets. This has been Retro Crisis, thank you for watching.